on family this is crazy blue nola coming to you with a quick video on alec baldwin it says breaking alec baldwin has been charged uh, with involuntary manslaughter for the fatal shooting uh, of cinematographer helena hutchins all right and then they want you to click the link for more details but we're not going to do that um it's everywhere it's on every blog site um and um, some people in the comment section, it's, it's a it's a split. Um, there are, of course, people saying about time. And then there are people who are saying he was privileged. And then, of course, they have people who are saying, why is he being charged? Like, he was just the, the actor. Um, from what I read, there was uh, some questions around safeguarding the gun on the set. At the end of the day, let's look at it like this. If that were your child, your husband, or your friend, right? There's still some level of justice that needs to be served in this case. So even though we can, it's accidental, accidents still come with consequences, right? If you accidentally drive in the middle of a crowd of people that, you know, because, you know, you lost consciousness, there's still going to be con the consequences, right? Every action has a reaction to it. And... Um, um, this is the, this is the, the, the outcome of it. Alec Baldwin in this situation, and I, I really never really talked a lot about it. There were some, his actions to some degree is, is, um, I didn't care for that. Like, I gotta be honest and say, that's just my personal opinion. So when it all went down, he seemed very distraught. And then shortly thereafter, he and his wife became very, very defined over the situation, even to the point of arguing with paparazzi, right? There was a lack of empathy on their part for a very, very long time. And I remember even seeing them going on vacation, enjoying a vacation while this lady lay dead. She's got a husband, had a husband, she has a child, right? But it was the way that it, it, it just came across so unsympathetic in the moment. I know that they went to court to guess, try to figure out a settlement. And then I heard that Alec Baldwin had even was filed a lawsuit against, I guess, the, I guess the people. But at, this, at the end of the day, there's a person, a human being here who is no longer alive in the world. We can't just say, oops, sorry, mistake, and just walk off. Right. You, you just can't uh, just can't say that, because if this were your personal situation, you would feel differently. If this were your child, you would feel differently. Right. So you always have to put yourself in another person's shoes. You always have to put yourself in another person's shoes. So I'm going to just do just a quick poll just to see if this is actually going like what's going to happen with Alex ba Alec Baldwin. Will this really go to trial? Um, and you never know, like some people, they get a slap on the wrist. They don't get a lot of time. The time that they do get, they go through it. Um, but let's go ahead and just take a, a look into the situation with Alex, Alex Baldwin. Spirit, please give me the energy around actor Alex Baldwin. He has now been charged with involuntary manslaughter. I see somebody in the comment section under the Daily Mail saying if he were a non-celebrity, they would be facing years in prison. If he were a black person, they would be facing years in prison. I'm going to just keep it 100. If he were a black person, he wouldn't even be walking around continuing to have his family life and another baby, the tent baby with his wife. He would be in jail until they did the investigation. Give me the energy again around Alex Ball, Alec Baldwin and the situation involving the fatal shooting of the cinematographer Helena Hutchins. What's going to be the outcome of this situation? He definitely has some... Uh, consequences here coming towards him but I would say this and I'm going to deal one more card and then we're going to stop it does show that there were the safeguard as, as it relates to the gun was not protected reckless disregard uh, making careless carelessly handling of 
food card in reverse, right? So I can see where they're looking at this. See, we don't see, just like with the Tory Lanez case, we didn't see every little detail that came out until the case was over, right? And then you were able to see that there was, a, there was more to the story. With this one, it's the same thing, right? Who did what? Who was where? How did they safeguard the gun? What was going on at the time? It's here in this energy. So it does show that there was, um, how did they, re how did they phrase this? There was, um, there was some neglect on their part to safeguard this gun. Now, this is not a movie actress that he's shooting towards. He's shooting the cinematographer, the person who's taking the video. So to me, this is mind boggling and mind blowing that this is even happening, right? He does have a lot of energy of here around being protected. I'm going to be very, very clear with you. So I feel like even when he goes through this process, I feel like there'll still be some privilege involved. There'll still be some protection involved. Um, that's what I feel. I feel like because he is who he is and he's in the industry, he's been there a long time and he's connected to the powers that be. He's been allowed to not be held accountable for this. Hence the reason why he has the Hierophant, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords. Basically, getting away with it until these people say, ah, 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 not so fast. Transformation energy is here. So let me say this too. I do feel he was warned about this and it was a conflict for him. So I don't feel like he, this was a surprise to him. Like he found out yesterday. I feel like he was kind of forewarned about it because he has in his energy that. When you look at his messages, it talks about the fact that the gun was not safeguarded. He, neither the person who gave it to him, safeguarded this weapon. They were both, they have in their energy, found negligent through the investigation. All right? And has been essentially allowed to get away with it. And with that energy here, this represents concern of the family. What are we doing? How, so he's just walking away with the slap on the wrist? Basically, I'm sorry, I didn't mean hit, hit, I didn't mean that. Have a nice life, right? So the family's here like, what's happening? At the end of the day, it does feel like he's going to have to go through this process. And it does feel like there's some level of accountability that will be um, placed upon him and the other person in this situation. Um, and that's the best thing I can say about it. I didn't feel, I'm going to ask, does he feel any sense of regret over it? It felt like he was regretful for the first day that it happened. And maybe the regret was more his concern about himself, his future. Uh, but he seemed within days, he seemed very defiant and very, um, combative. And maybe because the paparazzi, you know, was questioning him and, you know, people had questions, but he seemed very defiant. Alec Baldwin, was that, did he ever feel, did he truly, deep down in his heart, did he feel very sorry about this situation, right? Has, has this been something that's torn him apart? Six of Pentacles continue to move forward. Let's go ahead. Let's give him a fair chance. Has he felt any sympathy towards this situation? And that's what I'm saying. When you looked at him, the first maybe day or week or so, he there was a sense that he there was a sense of dread, right? But then he continued to move forward in his Three of Pentacles, Five of Swords, the Lovers card, hence a new continuing to live his life with his family, make another baby, etc., etc., make money, do what he needs to do. But there's something here about he did have concerns about could this, you know, could this, um, could this reverse on him because he has it here and here so I don't feel that I feel like he thought he was going to I think I feel like he thought it was going to be okay until he kind of heard rumblings and people act, you know how when people start asking too many questions you're like wait a minute uh yeah they're not letting this go and they're not closing this out so there's something that's happening here but he continued to in his energy this shows this man continued to just live his life fully and abundantly as this was going on. And even his seven of cups, the fear to me is about his opportunities being cut. 
that his career is being challenged, that he's being challenged by people uh, who are, uh, you know, who question him and question what happened. He even has in his energy the card of um, disconnection or the card of, um, yeah, of being vexed. So if anything, that's what I kept picking up. It was more like he was vexed about the situation versus being truly sympathetic about, oh my God, this happened. It happened at my hands, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Like, that's what I feel. But I do feel like he's had some protection based on the fact of who he is and his background and him being in an industry and a part of the elites. And I think he will continue to have protection through this experience. But I do believe that there will be consequences coming his way, even with that all being said. All right. So that is a reading on Alec Baldwin. We can always revisit this again at a, a later date. Um, but I will be I will be the first person to say in, in in my personal opinion, I just feel like when there there's a person that's taken out of this world, whether it's you know, intentionally or unintentionally, there still has to be consequences, some form of action towards that. It's not always just about paying somebody out in a civil lawsuit. A lot of people who go to civil lawsuits first, they don't they don't care about they weren't really that injured because all they care about is being paid from the financial standpoint. Right? People who go and want justice, they feel like they 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 feel that they have been affected in some way deeply. So I think for for this situation, I think it's the right thing to hold someone accountable or the people accountable. Let them go through the process and let the let the courts make the decision, right? And then, and of course, on social media and in the blogs and all that, people are going to have their opinion. I'm seeing people saying, you know, you know, this guy is why is he, you know, why are they bothering him with that? He's just the actor. They have other people feeling like he was he's been given privileges uh, in this situation, and there are other people who feel like he deserves to go. He deserves to be held accountable. So you're gonna see it divided. You cannot argue with people about the way that they feel, because at the end of the day, that's how they feel. That's how they perceive the situation. But I always say, what if that were you? What if that were your child? What if that was a, a loved one, a best friend that you cared about? Whether it was an accident or not, an investigation should happen. Accountability should be placed on someone. And it shouldn't just be in a form of a cash payment. There should be real accountability. With accountability comes changes. Not just, oops, sorry, and continue to live your life, right? It doesn't work that way. And a lot of people, you know, I see, I, I see celebrities get away with a lot of stuff that a, like a lot of regular people wouldn't get away with, right? They get slaps on your wrist. So again, I feel like he, he's been protected. He's been being protected in this experience. He will continue to be protected in this experience. And even to, when I saw him coming out of court, he had this like <laughs> energy, right? He's not given the energy of somebody that... And maybe that's just his personality, but this man does not give me the energy of somebody who is regretful, nor is he hurt or sorry about this lady's life being gone. And she left a husband and a child behind and her parents and the rest of her family. Accountability has to be placed somewhere. It looks like it will be. Again, we can revisit this at a later date. This is a reading that I'm adding onto the channel. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I want you to share your thoughts about it um, and, you know, make sure that it's respectful towards each other. Again, like we're going to have a difference of opinions. We got to sometimes agree to disagree. Also, don't forget, I have a special run, running right now, $50, five questions, flash sale for the rest of January. Okay. Um, BlueNolaTarot.com. Again, BlueNolaTarot.com. And when you go on the website, you should see it right away. Um, just click book online and it'll bring you right there. Okay. Good luck to this entire situation. I really don't have a dog in this fight. I'm all about justice and, um, I'm all about fairness. And I, at the end of the day, if this were my personal situation, I would want somebody to be held accountable and not just with a $2 million check. That's beautiful. Wonderful. Well, well where's my daughter? Where's my, where's my child? Where is my niece? Where is my cousin? Where is the person? 
they're no longer here to have a full life because of this incident. So whether they hold Alex somewhat responsible and the other guy fully responsible, whatever they do, at least this is being taken seriously. All right. Have a great day. Take care. Stay blessed. Encourage and empower. This is your girl, Chris.